si pangatlo, third fold invitation, follow me, kandidata na ho tayong sumunod para maglingkod sa kanya. Ano sabi ni Jesus kay Matthew? Come, follow me. To live one's own simple way of life and begin a new journey with God. Yan ang radical change. Isipin mo si Matthew, kung tutuusin kung makamundong makamundo ang pag-iisip mo, hindi ka aalis sa lamesa mo, eh, bakit andun yung pera, andun yung kayamanan eh. But somehow, he heard God's voice, ramdam niya na iba ang tumatawag sa kanya, iniwan niya ang kayamanang makamundo at sumunod siya sa kayamanan na mula sa kaharian ng ating Panginoon Diyos. A kingdom that is full of, ano ba yung kayamanan sa English? Treasure, treasure coming from the Lord no, na hindi kayang tapatan ng mundo ito. Kaya we now ask, why do people backslide? Kasi po pagdating doon sa first fold invitation, lumundag agad o lumaktaw doon sa third fold invitation na hindi dumaan sa second fold invitation. Ano po yung tatlong yon? Come to me, yun learn from me, then follow me. Hindi dumaan doon sa formation ng learn from me. Crosses or trials, it forms our character. Consider yourselves fortunate when you meet with every kind of trial for you know dapat pala alam natin alam ba natin yan aware ba tayo that the testing of your faith makes you steadfast John chapter 1 verse 2 to 3 steadfast sabihin po natin steadfast ay importante po yung salitang yan steadfast steadfast po maganda po ang ibig sabihin ng steadfast sa wikang Greek It's an adjective, and the phonetic spelling, pag-pronounce din po, is hedrayosh, a seat or base to sit down, solidly based on, or well-seated, firm, morally fixed, firm in purpose, in mind, or well-stationed, securely positioned, not given to fluctuation, or moving of course. Yung hindi ka naliligaw. Alam mo yung dinadaanan mo at firm ang iyong desisyon na gagawin mo ito. So, yun yung steadfast. Hindi pa bago-bago ng isip. Hindi parang iskambar ko na tinatangay ng alon kung saan-saan. Kahit malakas ang alon, ay dere-derecho ka pa rin sa iyong paglalakbay. This is what we want to have steadfast followers of Jesus. Not necessarily being gifted or intellectual or talented no expertise or influential etc not necessarily yon no it's important din yon pero these are also helpful but useless if we are not steadfast parang ano yan eh gifted ka tumugtog tapos sinasabayan mo rin ng ng bosses maganda rin ang bosses mo eh kung hilagi ka naman absent tuwing may gawain eh walang steadfast di ba sayang naman yung gift and remember that gifts can be developed pero yung steadfast, yung pagiging steadfast po natin, this is actually a grace coming from God and our decision to cooperate with that grace of God. Amen po. So, two questions to recall po. Unang-una, did we change? Nagbago ba tayo? And number two, are we steadfast? Let's try to reflect on that, diba? So, in summary, many are called, but not everyone responds. Yung pagiging steadfast po natin, To the threefold invitation, those who respond, God chooses for certain tasks, ministry or service. The more open our response, pagiging steadfast po natin, the more tasks are entrusted to us. Again, we should always come to Jesus in all occasions. To be at peace, remember, we are called to be with someone and not something. Learn from Him. This includes all forms of learning, experience, teachings, observations, seminars, formation, sensitivity to leadings, prayer journals, etc. So learn from everything, especially for experience and teachings of the church. Important rin po yan. Again, questions to recall. Una muna, did we change? Are we steadfast? Do we fulfill our assigned tasks? Yung bagang mag ka ng assignment, bakit ako? Siya muna, siya muna. Well, siguro sa simula, pwede. Pero pag tumatagal ka na sa ministry, tanggapin mo na tanggapin ang ating mga assignments. So, always come back to the number one or the first fold invitation. Ano po yun? Come to me. 
to be at rest with Jesus. So let's end with a prayer. 